Buckhay. I'm out, uh, this is basically the town of Buckhay. Buckhay is uh, really, really spread out from the number of square miles. Buckhay, you know, by the, it's not, not a, it's building up. There's a lot of people live out here now, but, uh, you know, the actual downtown, original part of Buckhay is not that big, but, uh, you know, consider the fact that it's not uh, now bound in, like the city of Phoenix has got other, like Glendale and Tempe and, Scottsdale, but it's got a bunch of cities that it, it, it can't really expand very far. But uh, the city of Buckeye is pretty good size. I mean, the number is potential growth, but 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 I'm looking north. That's why I think I call it the Buckeye Hills. But you can see there, there's a road here that's just like Apache, and that Yuma Road that, that runs east and west there. But that, that car just turned right on the Yuma Road there. Uh, but anyway, if you see further down, about another half mile, mile north of here, there's that's, that's inter, inter, Interstate 10. That's a major American freeway that runs between LA and Jacksonville, Florida. That's that mountain range. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a 360 here. First, I'm gonna go off. Uh, sometime I'm gonna go out and see what that is. That's looking west, and uh, the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station is out roughly in that direction, west, but another 40, 50 miles west of here. Because this is a few miles west of Phoenix. It's like 60 or 70 miles between Phoenix and the Palo Verde. But they put the Palo Verde Pat in a pretty much the right place. Because it's kind of the middle of nowhere. If anything happens, it's... Well, they, they run it pretty good. So if anything happening is very, very unlikely. Let me give you a... Well, that's... Uh, that mountain's probably a, a, bad, a little hill there. It's probably the one that's on the ridge. It's part of the... Not Saddle Mountain, but it's rough in that area. Saddle Mountain's another... 30, 40 miles west of here. And sometimes I'm gonna hike out there because I like hike, hiking out in the Saddle Mountain area. I've been out there years and years, but uh, Saddle Mountain, I had some other videos on the Tonopah Witch, and uh, I'm gonna get out there sometime and see if that witch cave is still out there. But I, I really think in the state they blew it up because I really don't think that witch cave is still out there. But anyway, uh, when I go out there, I'll definitely just see if it's out there. I plan to spend some time out there. Uh, it's heating up, so I may not make it out there this spring. It, um, it's looking here. And uh, let me go around here, give you a 360 of what's out here. There's a lot of homes. I'm just doing some work for a guy, and uh, uh, he was he's going to plant some oleanders. Uh, as he said, he didn't. He's moved out here for the desert, and uh, didn't like. Uh, <laughs> he wanted to block out his neighbors so he didn't have to worry about looking at them. Well, fair enough. You know, that's looking south there. Uh, that's not the Estrellas. I don't know quite what that. It's too far west for the Estrellas. I don't know quite what that range is. But that's, that's looking toward the city of Buckeye. Bu Buckeye is about, uh, the actual old town part of Buckeye is another few miles down the road here. There's a major trailer park in there. There's an RV park in there, so if you if you got an RV in West Day, there is an RV park. If you come out here in the wintertime, uh, you know, that, uh, the, our, the park there, and uh, you go down to uh, Quartzsite. Uh, Quartzsite is the RV, RV center of the cosmos. I mean, that's where all the RVers, uh, you know, through the winter time, all the RVers uh, are there. All the, uh, I do, I do mean Cosmos, because there's about a few, about a few space aliens uh, ha hanging about in there. Okay, let me give you a 360 without talking here. Bye-bye.